Hey, hi. How you doing, Charles? I'm fine, thanks. How you doing, Chris? Good, buddy. We're in Charles Kyoto studio here. What's going on, my friend? Yeah, you know, I'm just looking through some drawings. I'm drawing, you know, when I when I'm doodling, I, I draw the my two favorite things, clowns and dinosaurs. And uh, I guess for the last 20 years, you know, since Killer Clowns from Outer Space, I've been drawing, you know, clowns every day and, and dinosaurs since I was, you know, <laughs> since I was in kindergarten, I think. You know, just like to like to draw. This is my, my messy studio here. Oh, that's awesome. Amazing studio. Yeah, this is uh been here nine years. The collection here is just the toys. You know what I do? I surround myself with the things that I like. I collect toys not to resell them or for any investment. I just uh, I, I look at them as art pieces. You know, and I keep them in the package because I hang them up like pieces of art. You know? Yeah, we got a hell of a collection too. <laughs> the entire perimeter of the room, I love it. And then I got boxes and boxes of stuff in storage someplace and stuff. When I think about it, I could have gone on some really great vacations, but I bought toys instead. You know, it's really, really stupid. But the most valuable thing in here, aside from the you know, personal artwork that fills every one of those drawers and every sketchbook that's underneath the desk here to every rolled up piece of paper in there. If there was a fire here, I would be devastated. I don't know if I would be able to deal with that loss. Um, losing my family and losing my artwork, you know, again, by degree, my family only, you know, because this is my life work and I save everything. The other valuable thing in this room is my uh, my reference library, which is my favorite magazines and mm -hmm. photo reference books, uh, books of artists, uh, anything that I need. I uh, I go to the books. You know, it's my National Geographic, it's my famous monsters, it's Cinefix, it's uh, you know sections that have you know every one of my favorite dinosaur books. Every one of my favorite uh, illustrators books from Frazetta to, you know, uh, 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 Jack Davis and, and Mort Drucker. Um, I guess my, my, my interest in drawing, you know, started with uh, drawing Martians and, you know, space battles and dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, inspired by the Willis O'Brien and Ray Harry Allen films and the Godzilla films. Oh, yeah. I got bitten by the monster bug yeah, very absolutely. early. And, uh... You know, it's just, uh, you know, just just wanting to, just drawing. And I wasn't really, you know, necessarily good, but it's something that I wanted to do. I saw a kid in my class, Joey Rosen, in fifth grade, who was the best drawer in the class. And I wanted to draw like Joey Rosen. And just by, you know, sheer tenacity, I was able, you know, to develop some skills. Mad Magazine. Jack Davis, Mort Drucker. I got really good at caricaturing, you know, looking at their styles, their zaniness, their wildness, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I just kept drawing. Eventually, I, I got uh, pretty decent at it. You know, I have, uh, you know, I'm putting together a coffee table book on clowns, so basically, you know, I'm drawing all kinds of clowns. Uh, I'm drawing them in pencil, I'm drawing them in, uh, Marker and uh, gouache, uh, some concept stuff. Beautiful work. Uh, let's see. I got it. You know, again, just characters like this. Uh, I have a, a very specific take on, you know, what I think clowns should look like. <laughs> you know. Um, I wonder why kids hate clowns. Yeah. Uh, Your fault, man. I just took them to the <laughs> next thing. You know, possibly. You know, clowns never look this frightening. So I just took them in, in a kid's mind eye, kid's mind eye, you know, what, what uh, they actually are seeing when they look at something as uh, as friendly as a Ronald McDonald. Yeah, you won't find that at Barnum & Bailey. No. Thank God. Those are great. You know, again, these are our, our little uh, characters that I'll hopefully be in a Killer Clown coffee table oh, that's book. Awesome. <laughs> Sweet. 
like I said, I've been drawing them since we made the film back in 1987. I've been drawing clowns. I have drawers and drawers and drawers <laughs> of clowns. I can inhabit a whole clown planet. <laughs> you know, some are more. You know, I experimented with things. Some are uh, more spacey, more science fiction. Right. You know, and some are more classic. You know, and again, it's just a. Uh, it's, it's really funny. I, uh, I, I'll do clowns. I'll, I'll do clowns, and I'll sketch one, and even I will draw a clown and go, you know what? This isn't a good one. This is not a good. This doesn't capture what I think a killer clown should be. So I'm very, very picky about it. They have to fit in a, on a right. certain road. Well, it's paid off, I see. <laughs> you know, These are great. Things like... Oh, that's classic. Like this, the innocent child mm -hmm. watching a clown. And, you know, again, the, the size. What's interesting, we made the clowns oversized because, um, you know, uh, I wanted adults to have the sense of being a, a small child in front of a harlequin. And there's, right. there's this horrifying clown. Again, we could have made the midget clowns work in a different way. You know, to be terrorized by something littler than you is an interesting thing too. But to have adults the scale of a child, mm -hmm. you know, when dealing with a clown is an interesting, absolutely, you know, the, the dynamic. These are excellent. You know, this is like this is again. It's just abstract shapes and stuff. I, I don't necessarily again the abstract uh, uh, anatomy. Uh, really reinforces the fact that these aren't men in makeup. Right. That these are truly a species from someplace else. So. Great. Oh, I love that one. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, but I got I got tons of them. I told you I've been drawing them for. I see. So I, the, and the ones that I've the ones that I've sold or given away uh, as gifts. I have all on disc, so you know I have hundreds of clowns for multiple volumes, or just maybe one, you know, hundred-page, you know, two hundred-page book, you know. Excellent. So.